So my name is Barton Smith and I'm a family physician. I work at the Edmonds Family Medicine Branch of Virginia Mason. I'm a family physician and as a family doc, uh, we are generalists, meaning that we treat uh, a little bit of everything, so to speak. And uh, I chose family medicine way back when, when I went into medical school, uh, because I wanted to be a generalist. I'd planned to do some cross-cultural work in a limited resource setting. And I thought general training as a family doctor would serve me well in that kind of a setting. So uh, when I went through medical school and did rotations in internal medicine, and I loved that, and I did rotations in pediatrics, and I loved that, and did OB, and I ended up loving that, and I thought I made the right choice. I love family medicine, and uh, I, I, uh, I love seeing my patients, actually, and, and just sitting down, and I, I feel like it's a privilege to be a physician and to be able to um, connect with people in a, uh, uh, on a, a deeper level to, to find out you know, what maybe is troubling them, not only physically, but sometimes what's behind some of those physical complaints. Um, and, and just working with people to make lifestyle changes that, that might have a positive impact on their life. Yes, frequently inspired by my patients. Um, maybe because I know uh, how difficult it is to make changes in, in your lifestyle. Uh, and some of those things, you know, I don't, I don't know how well I would do if I were asked to make those changes. So when, when patients come back and they, they tell me that they've, you know, cut out all the sweet drinks from their diet or they've started exercising four times a week, uh, that it's inspiring. Building relationships with patients takes time. Um, I, I, I know from both sides of the equation as a, as a, a new provider here, um, that it takes me several visits before I feel like I'm really getting to know my patients. Um, there's only so much you can cover in 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, and so, so it takes time to learn about not only their illnesses, but about who they are as a person. Um, and I think from the perspective of a patient, it's, it's much the same way. Uh, many patients here have, have been with a particular provider maybe for 30, 40 years, and then that provider uh, perhaps retired and they have to find a new provider and uh, and I don't expect if I have a new patient for them to immediately trust me uh, I know that I have to earn that trust and I think that comes through um, again listening well to my patients and um, for them to to learn that after a while that they can trust the recommendations that I make